going guys? I'm at Glen Feshy. It's a bit different since the last time I came. It was like three feet of snow. We've uh, pulled into the car park and it is like mobbed. It's like Piccadilly Circus here. We've got camper vans, RVs. I'll show you, I'll give you a look, right? That car's been smashed, right? That's the first thing we've seen when we came in. Look, there's another one, look. So I don't know, we were thinking of getting into the boffy, but looking at that. I know, it's strange. Could have been a deer, though. Deer? Aye. No, look, look. Somebody's hurt it with something. Aye, they've tried to throw a rocket in and bounced that there. That's not a deer. So it's just vandalised there. Oh, you can see that. But here's the car park, right? There's Mark's car. So who knows if we're going in? We'll see. I, I don't know. Here's where we're going guys, we're going to Glen Feshy, it's an estate, it's owned by some rich German guy now. But most of the land in Scotland is owned by the Germans, isn't it? So it says it was first settled 2,500 years ago. When? I didn't really think that was that long ago, was it? But there we go, so that's where we're going. Here's the animals. We've got a pine marten. Yeah, there's a river tit. That's the river Feshy. That's where the the landslide was, by the looks of it. There's the red squirrels here, apparently. Very rare in Scotland now. There's your. Uh, there's your. Yeah, see the squirrels? There's tons of them in Arran. There's no uh, grey squirrels invaded there yet. But there's very little red squirrels left in Scotland. Because the greys eat them, don't they? Or the greys eat all the food, whatever it is. But there we go, I'm with uh, Mark. There's Danny and Steve. So we're heading down that way. I'm a bit, uh, a bit nervous about leaving my car here with that. Visions are coming back. Yeah. But hopefully there's an RV in that there, so hopefully the RVs are still. I'm hoping I don't come back, my car's been smashed. But, there we go, there's the back of Danny and Steve. So, trekking in. Hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> it's off to the buffet we go. That's us, we've crossed that hill there. I, I don't know how many we've done, maybe like half a mile or something. But we're on our way in. That's, uh, see the house over there? That's one of the farm workers' house, because all of this is a, an estate. So that's what you get if you work here, one of those houses. So we're plodding on. We're just uh, hanging back, waiting for Mark and Steve. Lovely, very nice. So much nicer when you come here and it's snowing. There's, there's Danny's little dog, look. So as we're almost there, we had to cross the... this uh, valley, whatever you want to call it. This was all wiped out in 2010 by the snow. Apparently there used to be a bridge across here. But that's the way you have to go. There's stepping stones down there. You can cross over a lot. So it's a straight path all the way. Straight through, into the woods, and then straight through. I've already filmed all of this before, so I won't really film much more of it. Just give you a little 
a little look where I've stopped. That's us, we're coming to the boffy. It was a good uh, good trek, uh, not the most furthest. It's about uh, four miles or something. It's mostly a path like that all the way. So it does look a lot different from when I was here last when it was snow. But it'll still be good. So we'll be camping right at the back. If you can see where Steve is, that's where we'll be going. Right up there. So I'll bring you back when we're up there, guys. Somebody's already got their tent up actually where we were going to camp. Right over there. This is the actual bothy. I'll show you the name, I can't remember the name of it. But this is the actual name of it. the side of the park there. That's where the toilets are, over there. So, there we go. Lovely. Take you inside. And Anybody home? Oh. There's, there's, there's Mark. Come in out the rain. Oh, Steve. Oh, it's warm in here. It's a barbecue thing we'll put outside now. I've seen that, yeah. Nice. People through the other side, yeah? Yeah. They're not staying, that's the boys. It's like a car crash. Oh, right. So, this is the inside of the bar. Right. I blinded Danny with my tops now. <laughs> but yeah, somebody's left some food, look. Hello darkness, my old friend. Nibbles. Why are you here? It's 4 p.m. <laughs> Steve will blind them. With my Hello YouTubers. Through night tops, look. Hunt, hunt. Oh, get in here. Come here now. You can stop that before I... This was the heater for tonight. There's a little room for the there, look. Two rooms. Up the stairs, look. This is where the bedrooms are. There's a sleeping platform. Yeah, I've been up here before. I've done a video. But just for people that's not seen it. There's uh, somebody's cot bed up there. What? Lovely jubbly. There's a picture of a stag, look. So, but down we go. Right, no joke. We came. Good evening. We, ca we came to this boffy last, last year, right? And see when we were leaving, there was a guy Andrew. came on his bike, right? No joke, we've came back a year later. <laughs> really? He's came back it's as well. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, eh? So I'm on my way to get water. Water's up here, look. There's a little uh, fountain thing up here. <laughs> du -du -du. Beat that, can't you know? 
Last time we came it was all icicles and all that. I think I showed it in a video, I'm sure. That's where we camped over there, near that tent is. But I think there's a, a whole group of people coming so I'll probably put my tent up. Spring water, straight off the mountain. There's my bed for tonight. Matt's over there, Steve's over there. Space in between us, and I'm here. I've got some uh, girl camp in there, some hiking girl. There's somebody through here, look. I think that's the, the landowners, uh, the, the workers. I think that is one of the worker guys we were talking to him and he was saying that uh, but I think he's leaving so I'm going to go down and get some dinner and chill, relax tonight. I don't know if you could see when I was up the stairs, I did say there was the uh, landowner's representative was here because he called his sir. He says he's leaving tonight. There's the boff in the back. I'm just going for a little walk. But there's that tent that I showed you. Look. I think this is where the uh, gamekeepers use is their trail type thing. Because this is a private estate if you know what I mean. But you can still camp on it. You go that way, it takes you all the way to Bremer. But there we go, that's uh... Great, a. Oh, the the oh, the West Coast is beautiful as Camped, camped on the summer here in Gorm two weeks ago. Oh, the icicles were like a few. My battery ran out of my uh, camera when I was over at that tent there. But uh, the person in the tent, it is their car that gets smashed at the beginning, so mm, we, we told them. But he was telling me it's a nature hike tent. He says it's a great tent and I says oh I've got a nature hike tent that I really like so I'll go over and I'll show you the tent so the tent is Ian's so if you're watching Ian it was good uh, good meeting you in the boffy and it's a uh, sorry about your car as well somebody smashing your car but silly I don't know why somebody would come all this way just to smash cars but there we go. One of these things, I suppose, isn't it? So, here's the tent. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice tent, that. Really nice. Nice big porch. I really like that actually. Mm. We need to get a new tent, I think. Very nice. I like that huge big porch area. Yep, I think I'll be getting a new tent. I 
I think I'll be getting that one. Nice and big. Sorry about the light, it's not the not the most lightest here, but yeah, I like that. Huge big tent. Nice big porch area. Really nice. Mmm. So yeah, there's a lot of people coming. Yeah. They're setting their tents up at the back. I'll give you a look. Over. Brew time. The transgender. Oh, Danny getting his bed ready for tonight. Right there. How cosy will that be? Second brew. My body transferred had leaked in my cup, so I'm using the snow peak. But Mark's gave me a look at that. Bacon. Bacon roll. That's my pot ready. Right, I boiled my second pot of water, right, because the first one had meth in it, but eh, uh, Danny stole it off me. What? Says to me, give me that big in. He took it off me, so. <laughs> now he asked for a coffee, so. This is my third cup now, right? Thanks, dude. Yeah, he's even using my bloody coffee as well, what? <laughs> he's using my coffee. You got my sugar, Danny? You're such a charitable gentleman. Can I get some of your milk? Of course you're. I'll leave it. I'll use the honey. Mm. That's Mark getting the fire on. We'll be roasty toasty in here. Get that. There we go, Mark's done the fire. All down to Mark. That'll be my TV. That'll be my TV for tonight. Bob, come here. What's for dinner, Steve? I'm having chili con carne again, same as last night. Mark. Macaroni. Got some of my chilli? I'll take it and go to the chilli first, innit? Right. Yeah. Anybody want some water? Get yeah. that on the go. Here we go, there's my tomatoes. What do you call it? The yeah. Chilli from Cannon. That's the sauce. It's tomato sauce stuff. I can't, remember, I can't remember the name of Passata. That's it. Passata and my. Red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, and the onions. It's just tomato sauce. And then my chilies. These are the extremely hot chilies, only for men. I'm only joking, but but mild, <laughs> mild. But cut them up. Add them in. There's my chilli already. I couldn't really follow him it because uh, there was a guy from Liverpool that came in. Him and his missus. He's gone, so I'll show you my chilli. He was from Liverpool. His missus was from Aberdeen. But there we go. Chilli, chilli. <coughs> Morning, guys. Oh man, just been to collect water there. It's Danny's dog barking. There you go, he's away. Or she's away, sorry. Yeah, I didn't do much filming last night in the boffy. I cooked my dinner and uh, the boffy was full. There must have been about 20 or 30 people. A lot of people came on bikes. 
So I'm just kind of busy. I'll give you a look. That's on the bikes. We've got three tents. We've got a tent over there. That's uh, behind the tree. That's a kind of busy tent. See the person that was camping over there? The one that their car got smashed. They had left last night. I think they were kind of worried. Uh, their car sitting there with a smashed window. But it was uh, Ian, so I'm sorry to be your car, mate. And uh, your tent is in my video. So it was good meeting you. There's Feshy, Glenn Feshy. I've been before and I've showed, but this is for people that's probably not seen it before. I'll take a little walk and give you a look. The Bothy, and that's the way that you come in. It's raining, it's heavy rain. And that's the way you go to go to Bremer, that way. That path over there. Take you to Bremer. There's the Bavita. So I'm going to go back and have some breakfast. I'll probably have some uh, porridge. Give you a little look inside. Oh yeah, I like this. Look, I did a barbecue type thing here. That's quite cool, isn't it? Barbecue pit for summer then. There we go, we're back in, back in the boffy. We've got our own room, right? I'll so, get my own room. It's not, as, it's not as if Danny's just commandeered this room, this right? Room. People walk in this room, right, and they just look at Danny. Not that I'm saying Danny's rough looking, right? But they walk in and they go, oh. <laughs> it's, it's a dog, it's a dog, look. It's a dog. It's I know, a I know, you see when you watch, right? And you it's think, a dog. You think, oh, that's a lovely little dog. But honestly, she's she's, she's like <laughs> that's good. We've we've got this room all to ourselves, which is good. There was like thirty people in the room next door last night. There was four of us in here. I know. I didn't follow him. I didn't want to go through and stick my camera in their face, but there was about thirty of them. It's only bike people. And then we had a hiker, some hiker girl. She was doing a ninety mile hike. She's in there. There's a couple of. Oh, sorry, I said hiking, running. And then we had a couple of people from down south in there. It's got a lot of English, did so. <laughs> so now we've got one real party. Yeah, yeah we've, we've got Steve, so. But it was. Look. There must have been about 30 people, wasn't there? That seems safe. Yeah, that's more than that, right? That seems safe. That seems safe. That seems safe. That Look at that boffy guy, isn't he? But yeah, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have, this guy having his tea, look. Having his tea, my, my camera's a bit steamy, but... Coffee. Coffee, sorry, with his uh, honey. And he's told me I walked in the door there, right? I walked in the door and he went, right, you, you're making breakfast. <laughs> you're making me porridge, so... But didn't have two minutes. Right, there we go. I've cooked Danny's breakfast, right? He told me I have to cook him breakfast because he says, I want to see your culinary skills. He says, if you can burn porridge, you're a twat. But I'm sorry to say, Danny, I don't know if I would eat that. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. All yours, all yours. You can keep it. <laughs> no. <coughs> That's the boffy we're leaving. Somebody's left their crap behind, look. Milk and all that stuff. That wasn't us. We're in that room. Through there. I'm off for water. I'll give you a look again. What's up there? If people 
come. I don't know where that is. The toilets are over there, look. The guys that were camping there with the bikes, they all left this morning, so they're away. So I'm a, I'm heading back home. Mark Mark, Steve and Danny are going to somewhere else. Uh, I need to go home because I'm taking a little tight window tonight, so <laughs> very nice. I want to come back here, I really do. I like it over there. See where we camped the last thing under the tree. I need to come back. But yeah, this is where the water is up here. <laughs> There, that's the water off the stream. That says we've brushed the floor. No mess been left. There is mess through this other side, but it's food, peanuts and milk and things, so it wasn't ours. We went through here. Just leave that. But there we go, that's the boffy, nice and tidy. No mess been left. Give you a look at the big uh, fire look. That's your view outside. There is a mountain over there, but it's a bit cloudy. See it? Behind that cloud, there's a mountain there. There's one there. past 11 so meet ahead so that's where the lord of the manor lives the land he lives over there in that big house over there so partly what he what he's earned his money from is a uh, apparently he's got a big online clothing thing he sells clothes online so. very cool very good him to uh, Open the boffy. Apparently, he owned it. He bought this place ten years ago. Somebody was saying, and what they've done is they got rid of all the the deal, so they can let it go back to wildness, like the way Scotland used to be. Because there's too many deer ravaging all the trees and that kind of thing, isn't there? So that's where all the new trees are grown. Look. There we go, that's the boffy. Heading that way, it's about, I don't know, four miles walk maybe. Three and a half, something like that. Not the hardest, so. Oh, cheers, Danny. Did I left that sitting there. Oh, that's us. We're halfway. What I call halfway. I find that's the hardest bit that we've done. From here, I find it easier. It's all flat from here now. It's not flat, but it's almost flat, isn't it? That's where the, land, the landslide is just there. Having a break. That's us, we're right at the bottom. There's people away up that mountain. I don't know if you can hear them shouting. But that's the end, and the car park's just down there. An old farm building. Last time I came here, it was uh, derelict, but I 
and it's looking nice. They've extended it and added on to the. Look, looks good, doesn't it? That part there with the wood, that's the new part. And then you had the old building. But I think he's one of the estate workers. Yeah, can you see the people? So I'm gonna plod down to the car and uh, head my way back down. I've got 200 miles to head back down and uh, I'll take all to Taekwondo. <laughs> so thanks guys, thanks for watching. Thank you.